A pipeline construction project looks much like a moving assembly line. A large project typically is broken into manageable lengths, called spreads, and utilizes highly specialized and qualified work groups. Each spread is composed of various crews, each with its own responsibilities. As one crew completes its work, the next crew moves into position to complete its piece of the construction process. Before any construction can begin, a survey crew carefully surveys and stakes the construction right of way to ensure that only the pre-approved construction workspace is cleared. Next, the pipeline right of way is cleared of vegetation. Temporary erosion control measures are installed prior to any earth moving activities. Topsoil is removed from the work area and stockpiled separately in agricultural areas. Williams then uses backhoes or trenching machines to excavate a pipeline trench. The soil that is excavated during ditching operations is temporarily stockpiled. Next, individual joints of pipe are strung along the right of way adjacent to the excavated ditch and arranged so they are accessible to construction personnel. A mechanical pipe bending machine bends individual joints of pipe to the desired angle at locations where there are significant changes in the natural ground contours or where the pipeline route changes directions. After the stringing and bending are complete, the pipe sections are aligned, welded together and placed on temporary supports along the edge of the trench. All welds are then visually inspected and x-ray tested. Line pipe normally has had a protective coating applied prior to stringing and requires a coating to be applied at the welded joints. Prior to the final inspection, the entire pipeline coating is electronically inspected to locate any coating faults or voids. When welding is complete, the pipe section is lowered into the trench by side boom tractors. When the trench is backfilled, no foreign material is permitted in the trench. After backfilling, the pipeline is hydrostatically tested to ensure its integrity. This involves filling the pipe with water and pressure testing it at levels in excess of its normal operating pressure. Williams' policy is to clean up and restore the work area as soon as possible. 